Okay, so basically to make this model, you start by uh, going to the section there. You want to copy the URL, and then you want to uh, pop out, go into your favorite web browser, go up into the, ta the bar there and paste that URL in there. And once you check that out, get the code, you right click it. You want to save the page as, and pretty much just leave it whatever you want, or you can call it what you want, but just put .obj at the end of it. So go ahead and save that. Okay, now inside Blender, you just get rid of the stuff. You can press the A button twice, and it selects all, and just press X to delete it. And now you want to import the object. So just go into File, go to Import, Wavefront OBJ, and then you just find that file location. I usually check on my desktop, makes it easy. So go up and press Import. Now you got the little model sitting there in front of you. So holding down the wheel mouse button, you can pan around. Now press the tab button and allow you to get access into the mesh. So you want to right click and hold down the shift button and continue right clicking down all the little vertices that you don't want anymore. Using the wheel mouse you can turn around. Once you have that selected, press the X button and now you can delete those vertices right there. So it gets rid of that. Now this model is a little more complicated so press the tab button again. You can press uh, Z will get you in and now I'm just selecting each one of the vertices I don't want as all part of this little stand. So holding the shift button down right and right clicking you can select them all individually and again using the wheel mouse holding it down you can pan around the model. Now it allows you access to all these things so now once you've got that all selected press X again and delete those vertices. And now so you see you have the model without a stand underneath. So you can press B and this will box select and you can drag a box over the whole model, highlighting all the vertices. I just like to put it down so that when you spawn the model it's not floating in the middle of air. And that way now you can uh, have it uh, ready to go. As you can see it's now just a model without a stand. And now you want to export this model. So just click export and then uh, export wavefront. I usually send it to my desktop and you can either overwrite the one you already have or you can create a new save. In this case, I just called it X-Wing for simplicity. And then go ahead and once you have that typed in, just save the model. And now once it's on your desktop, you're going to want to upload it to your favorite uh, web hosting platform, whether it's Dropbox or whatever else. Anyways, by that point, you have to copy the uh, site location from that so you have a uh, hosting spot. So when you're in game here, just go into the spot here and create uh, model, paste in your mesh from your web hosting spot and material, I usually choose cardboard because I don't like it shiny, it's up to you but uh, you also want to make sure you uh, sorry, yeah. so like, you import the model and again you have it now but you don't have a texture on it so now you go back into the original model and just right click again, go to custom now you can just copy the uh, the diffused image off the original model and it's going to disregard any the information that was on the stand and stuff so go back to your model here and just paste in that that uh, diffused image in there and I like to click non-convex so the model mesh actually takes the shape of of the of the model itself the X-Wing so it doesn't actually have a box over it you don't have an invisible barrier but there you go that's uh, basically how I import my models and get rid of stands and you can do that with most of TTS's stuff